20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones you did. Explore. Dream. Discover. My name is Cecily, and I'm the host for today's program. Thanks for joining us. We're going to be talking about the Labor Pains franchise opportunities. Why? Because there has never been a better time to be interested in the home services category. As a matter of fact, there's been some recent research, including a Wall Street Journal article, that talks about the fact that they expect double-digit growth in the home services category in the next decade. With me today is Tom Fennig. Tom is one of the founders of Labor Pains Franchise System. Great to see you, Tom. Great to see you, Cecily. What you got up your sleeve for us today? Well, we have a customer here in Charlotte, North Carolina, that's been a labor pains uh, customer for a number of years, and she's agreed to let us come in and talk to her. Well, fantastic. Let's go meet her. All right, let's go. Thanks again for having us today. Oh, you're welcome. I know you've been a Labor Pains customer for a while. Yes. What can you tell us about that? Oh, it's been terrific. I'm a mom, so I have a very busy schedule. So one of the things I like most about Labor Pains is the fact that they respect that. We have an appointment. They show up. They're always on time. All the guys have been very polite, very courteous, and they just get the job done. That's fantastic. Well, it's been really busy around here today. What have it they has. been up to? Well, they're cleaning the gutters. They're cleaning the windows, the dryer vents. I try to get that done at least twice a year. Matter of fact, while they were here, they noticed that the gutter was loose, so they're going to reattach it. Awesome. Yes. So they do more than just windows, more than just yes. one or two things. Right. That's exactly one of the things I like about them as well is I can get multiple services done. So I don't have to call several different companies. I call one company, Labor Pains, and they get it done. That is amazing. Well, thanks again for oh, having you're us. Welcome. Yeah, thank thank you. you. Nice to yeah. see you. With us today is Tom Fennig, who is one of the owners of the Labor Pains Franchise System. Tom, thanks for being with us today. My pleasure. Could you give our viewers an overview of Labor Pains? Yeah, Labor, Labor Pains is a company that delivers a variety of home services to consumers. Uh, these services are things people simply don't like to do, and that includes window cleaning inside and out, um, gutter cleaning and gutter repair, uh, house washing, deck cleaning and restoration, even dryer vent cleaning, and the list could go on, but those are kind of the core services that Labor Pains delivers to homeowners. So why would it be appealing right now for somebody to be interested in Labor Pains franchise? Yeah, that's a good question. Number one, the housing market is definitely uh, improving significantly. Uh, number two, there's a trend for people to improve their homes and not just move. So we really are kind of a home services company that addresses that. And the other thing is there's been a tremendous amount of pent-up demand. People have postponed a lot of these maintenance services, and they can't postpone them anymore. Hmm. We well, hear the word franchise a lot, but I'm not sure I'm really clear on the difference between a franchise business and one that's not. Can you help us? Yeah, a lot of people are confused on the differences, and it really is an important uh, thing to understand. A franchise business, Cecily, is simply a business where you're in business for yourself, but not by yourself. In other words, you're benefiting from a tested business model that uh, has been refined over the years. So if we have viewers today who are interested in this, what advice would you have for them? Well, before I share an acronym that I think will be helpful, do you mind if I share a personal note? Absolutely. Okay, thank you. Um, like a lot of the viewers that are probably watching this film today, uh, I was in their shoes back in 1995. I decided that it was time for me to leave corporate America and do something totally on my own. Uh, for me personally, the greatest risk was not taking any risk at all. So I knew that the business I was about to go into might not make it, but my thought was, let me just give it a go and see what happens. So I started the company called Outdoor Lighting Perspectives, and after three years, it became pretty clear that this was a very good uh, business to franchise. So we started the franchise system in 1998, grew it to just under 80 locations. In fact, three of them were international, in Kuwait of all places, the Bahamas, and of course Canada. 
And then in 2008, I sold the franchise system. Hmm. Interesting. So you really did start it from the ground up. Literally. Yes, ma'am. Gosh. Okay. okay. So tell us about this acronym. Yeah. The acronym is SMART. S-M-A-R-T. S stands for support. In other words, be sure as you look at any franchise that the support system is in place. M stands for market. Be sure that the market is growing and is likely to continue growing. You don't want to be involved in any fads. Um, a stands for attitude, and it relates back to the definition I described before about a franchise. Be sure you understand and have the right attitude towards a franchise and the fact that you do have rules that you have to follow. R stands for revenue, and the best franchise systems have many revenue streams, not just one. And the last one is T. Be sure the uh, concept is fully tested, like Labor Pains has been around since 2005. So uh, those are the um, you know tips that I would suggest, S-M-A-R-T. If you follow those, you're likely to find a real good franchise that you'll be happy with. Fantastic. Well, listen, thanks so much for your advice today. It's really, really helpful. And uh, we appreciate your being with us. So we've covered a lot of information today, and I hope it was helpful. Now remember, as you evaluate this opportunity, remember the acronym SMART. SMART. S. Be sure the support team has experience with and really understands both the business and franchising. M. Be sure the market is growing and likely to continue growing. A. Be sure you have the right attitude and are therefore willing to be a part of the franchise and follow a business model that was developed by the franchisor. R. Be sure there are multiple revenue sources that customers will regularly need. And T. Be sure the business model has been thoroughly tested.